Shalom, beloved family. It's your girl, Sophia Spiritualite, and we're here with another lesson. Um, this one is going to be on how to use the spirit intelligences, and I'm going to make this as simple as possible um, so that people can um, uh, try uh, to contact the various spirits and, and begin to use them with righteousness, you know, because again, our people perish for lack of knowledge of the celestial hierarchy that's that's the knowledge that we we forgot how the hierarchy works and how to properly interact with the beings of the hierarchy so before we get started all praise glory and honor go to the most high the king of kings the lord of lords the great i am loving kindness the god of abraham isaac and jacob we ask for permission to speak with the angels for just a few moments so that we can get a message that will allow us to be of better service to you and to the kingdom we thank the Holy Mother for always being with us. We acknowledge our older, wiser brother, Yahawashai. And of course, the angels, we ask that you come and give us a message that will allow us to be of better service to the Most High and to the kingdom. All right, so um, let's just get started with this. So here is um, these PDFs. You can get these off my website. I have one for all 12 of the Earth Zones, which are the different zodiacs and i also have the one up for um the jupiter zone and also the moon zone and also the elementals so there's elementals the moon the earth zone which is the degrees of the zodiac and then the jupiter which is the constellations okay so this these ones will be the easiest to do if you um tune into my daily um moon phases um planetary positions and moon phases report you will notice that every day i give a the, the position the day of the moon right and then also the position of that day and so that is so that you can get an understanding of where the moon is and and i had no idea why i was doing that i i have i cannot tell you but this is the reason why so let's look at for example um moon cycle day one and again whenever you contact these beings they are their names are names of the most high and therefore their names need to be capitalized this man wrote this book he was very very disrespectful to these angels which i do not like he did not capitalize their names he did not show them the respect that was due so anyway that being said um these these um these pdfs are all on my website they're totally free i have a book that i um a workbook that I have is called the Spirit Intelligence Workbook. This is also available on my website. It does have a fee, but it's just what it costs me to print it. There's no huge money off of this. It's just, you know, this is what the Spirit told me to do. You know, I, I got to follow what they say. But all of the information is already on the website for free. It's just if you want the whole workbook with the, um, the everything in one place that you can easily flip through including my charts and all this stuff um that would be in the actual book and when you buy the um when you buy the um the physical copy i'll see email you a copy of the pdf as well so that you have both all right um because i i printed the things out separately i have them on my wall i wouldn't want to mess up my book i would just want to be able to flip through it so um let's read about day one of the moon cycle so just talking about the moon cycle this was the easiest one for me to explain so this is the reason why i'm i'm doing this one first the moon cycle is broke up into 28 29 days basically and that's how long it takes to rotate around our planet and i'll show you a picture uh that will hopefully help that make a little bit more sense in a minute so day one in the moon phase that's when it comes out that's um day one is is day one after the new moon the new moon is day like 29 or day one if so this is around the new moon so this spirit intelligence is the name of the first head of the moon sphere it is his commission to control the regular regularity of the tide he is an excellent initiator into the electric and magnetic fluids and their use in moon magic. If the magician carefully follows the explanations of this head and does as he is told, he is also able to produce phenomena in zone girding the earth as well as in our physical world on all three planes, the mental, astral, and physical that are nothing short of miracles by means of magnetic influences of the moon and the electric fluid of the earth. Besides this, 
I won't say his name, and his subordinates protect the magician against any unfavorable influences which he might have to encounter during his work with the influences of the moon. This first head of the moon with the influences, this first head of the moon sphere can furthermore unveil to the magician a great number of mysteries that until now may have remained hidden to him. So, um, this is what I, okay, so I, this is just, um, a couple of them, um, but I'm just going to read that one because I want to make this video pretty short. So if you look at that sigil, um, number one, that's the sigil for that particular, again, he should have these things, um, capitalized. It's really super disrespectful, but anyway, um, you see that's the, that sigil for that particular moon sphere. So again, the new moon, that's the day one. Um, and so they say you're not supposed to do anything during the new moon. It depends on what you're going to do. So if you're going to contact this, this particular, um, spirit intelligence for this particular purpose, then you would do that on a new moon. You know, understand? So it's not that you shouldn't do anything. It's just that you have to know what is lawful for you to do during the full, the new moon and what is unlawful for you to do during the new moon. Again, this all goes back to why we fell in the first daggone place because we could not figure out lawful versus unlawful and we didn't try and at the end of the day that is what we are paying for right now and it's written all over the hebrew catholics they do not respect the most high at all in his work so this is why this makes sense okay so let's just take a look at this particular picture and i want to under i want to explain something based on this picture if you look at three right that's our um uh it says self humankind um consciousness awareness consciousness of spirit humanity abstract thought okay so that number three is like the realm that we're actually on too which is like the earth sphere and so if you look at the number four or if you just look at this line I want you to envision connecting with these spirits like this. It's just like a eclipse. When the moon is in its it when when the moon is in its day one, right here, um, on this realm, it's in day one of its moon phase. You get this alignment with the moon, and just imagine the moon is number four. You get this alignment with the moon, but the moon can travel around like a big circle. And so it takes 28 days for the moon to travel around from the four down to the one back up to the four. That's how it moves. And so we are able to on each of those days align straight up because. Look, think about it like this. The earth is spinning on a tilt. But no matter where it spins, we're still connected with the source. So it's spinning. Everything else is spinning. It's like if think about like how a lock works in a key. When you enter the lock, the key into the lock, it has to hit all the tumblers just the right way. And then it opens it. And that's what we're trying to accomplish when we contact this particular intelligence on this particular day of their cycle we're unlocking the key so uh, again like i mentioned in my last video instead of demanding that the most high stop what he's doing run around and do whatever we need for him we're actually going directly to the the, the way he would delegate it and i've been talking about this for a few days but i want people to really get it in their minds the most high delegates his power it's not possible for him to do everything himself he would delegate it if i, I any person who can delegate will always delegate any person who's confident in their leadership abilities will always delegate because they know that they need to conserve their brain power to solve the most imminent problems and what our people do what i saw firsthand when i dealt with those people on wednesday is that they demand the most high stop what he does stop what he no matter what he's doing how important it is stop what he's doing so that he can solve our problem. And all he's going to do is tell you, you supposed to go to talk to this one, you supposed to go talk to that one, this one, this one, this one. But what do we do? Demand the most high, stop what he's doing and deal with our problems. We cannot continue to do that. The, pro the solution to the problem is in us. 
And that solution to the problem that's in us is waiting until day one of the moon phase, contacting this particular reflection of the most high and asking them to protect us against any unfavorable influences we might encounter during the work with the influences of the moon. Do you understand that? Does that make sense to, to people? Because it's very, very simple. However, again, I know why I had that experience now because I was like, man, why I have to have this? I see exactly why, because there is a group of our people who demand that the most high stop what he's doing or even the Holy Mother stop what she's doing and deals with us. Instead of going to the person who can solve the problem, letting the most high do what he has to do. Not that we can't go and talk with him, chill, all of that, all of that. But when you have a problem to be solved, go to the right, again, the right tool for the right job. And this is what using this chart in the way that I'm describing it will allow us to do. And so I just described the moon cycle, right? Because that's the easiest one to find. When you're trying to do the degrees, that's the ones that I've started out with, far more difficult, far more difficult. It's much easier to do the elementals. Um, the elementals you can contact during the hour of your birth, any single, any given day, the hour of your birth. Um, or the power hours for that day, either one of those work. Um, and the moon, again, you know, it's when the you have the whole day. Again, always try and use the power hours. That's going to be the, the easiest access. But um, also the hour of our birth. That's another huge key that you can use. So me, I was born in a nine o'clock hour. I have nine, nine. I was born in a nine o'clock hour. So just so you know, I'm here to bring that fire all day, every day. So in a nine o'clock hour, if I miss a seven o'clock hour, the one o'clock hour is too late. Now, I know that I have set it up with every different spirit intelligence that I contact that if I need something immediate, I'll contact them during the hour of my birth. That's like setting up a dead drop, you know, like a meeting place, you know, like if you need an emergency plan. If something ever happens, if you go through all the work to, con to contact these beings on the time that's best for them, you set up a drop time. Like if there's, I need to leave a message, I will come and leave it at this time. You'll know that I'm here. You know, you'll just check, you know, cause I already asked, just check with me. I might come back and ask you or something like that, whatever. What I will probably do is let my guardian angel know that I need to talk to whoever the next day, just try to be as respectful as possible of their time and whatever else they got to do. So that when I have to come in, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna need to talk to this person on this day. You know, can you make sure, you know, just let them know because I'm gonna come, I don't wanna interrupt what they're doing. Just make a, a couple seconds for me to come and talk. Boom, that's it. Is the thing is to respect these angels. They have a lot of hard work to do. However, we are responsible for subduing them. So that means you use them for your benefit to to worship the most high in spirit and truth, but you don't disrespect them. You still treat them like like they are um the most high because they are made in his image. So Again, this is why our people perish because they started, they didn't want to deal with the angels. They didn't want to go through all of this stuff. Doing all this stuff is hard. You have to like really, you know, structure your day around contacting angels until you've contacted all the ones you want to contact. Then, you know, you have to this, that, so on and so forth. It's, it's a giant mess. You know what I mean? And our people, they didn't want to do all this. This is too much work. They just wanted to go to the most high and say, look, I don't feel like dealing with all these angels. They got too much stuff, too much requirements. I got to burn this incense. I got to wait for this time. I got to watch the stars, this and that. Let me just tell you what I want. I want this, 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 this. I demand that you do it. What? what you want to talk to the most high like that and that's what these people do the gentiles do it the hebrew catholics do it the christians do it everybody on this planet disrespects the most high and i for one will not allow it so i have as i've been talking to these angels as i've been talking to the lords of karma the goddesses of karma and now i'm going ready to do this 22 day fast when i communicate with the beings of the saturn sphere i'm going to request personally that anybody who treats the most high like this they be given the full wrath of their consequences i refuse to allow the most high to be disrespected like this more it's over it's over i'm done because it's so disrespectful and i see how these people do i see how these people do their jesus just imagine how they do the most high no 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 i'm done with it so um 
hopefully this information is helpful. I'll do more of these for the different spheres so that people can get a, a better understanding of how it works. But it's not hard. It's very simple. Just find out what day the moon phase is in and you know during the power hours or during the um and you know the power hours are the hours of the day for that day so that's 6 a.m 1 p.m and 8 p.m so during the power hours or during the um hour of your birth um uh during the hour of your birth just take a few minutes contact that you know the angel of that particular moon phase of the day and just introduce yourself you don't have to ask, always ask for something so like when i contact the angels i'm not always asking for something i'm just oh i'm going to introduce myself i'm new to this particular you know all of this stuff and you know if it's, again make yourself available for them if they need a physical person to do a physical thing you know if you need me to do anything please let me know there's no problem i'll take care of it you know and that's it i don't always ask for a bunch of stuff sometimes i'm interested in stuff and those are the ones that i contact first but i have a ritual that i'm going to do um on my birthday that is going to hopefully ideally connect me with all of them so that um you know if something comes up you know they already know who i am they'll know you know why i'm there whatever 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 the case may be because i want to use again all of the tools in my toolbox i want to use them in righteousness i want to be as um thoughtful as i possibly can so again to the beings who are here with us you're invited to go in peace to my beloved viewers you're invited to be at peace and always remember the most high is your peace shalom everyone